This is a story about connecting with your roots. Sometimes it just takes time to figure out who you are, find your passion, and finally have the confidence to chase your dream. Would you leave a successful career after nine years to pursue your dream? Meet Chef Stephanie, the owner of Roots. She did exactly just that. She left everything behind to pursue her passion, and now opened a Cantonese French bistro here in Hong Kong. More than anything in food, like it has to come from heart and soul first, uh, and that, you know, that has that always has to be the first guiding principle. My family, we, we immigrated to Toronto in '88, uh, so I was four then. And then there's no Chinese in the ingredients or whatnot. But then your family trying to make use of that. So for me, like I think that you know, from a very young age, already just kind of I guess my, it boggled my mind, in which became the source of inspiration for my cooking now. It took a three-year process before I was able to do that, but then I, yeah, I finally did in 2015. So before this, I was a banker of nine years. So I quit in 2015. So that was already three, four years ago. Uh, cooking is something I've always loved doing, but I just never thought it was possible doing as a profession. You know, um, as a traditional Chinese family, are you you get ingrained about the realities of your profession, right? Like, besides doing it what you like, it has to be kind of viable as a business or as an opportunity. And you know, traditionally, the restaurant business has always been hard. So for me, it's always just been a hobby. The trigger point for me was turning 30, maybe. You think about it, it's like, okay, if this is the past 10 years of my life, do I want to do this for the next 30 years? And at that point, like, it just kind of became not, not it wasn't something I wanted to do, or I didn't feel so strongly about it anymore. And then I went to Paris for a year, uh, starting January 2016. When I decided to quit, um, it wasn't just, you know, I quit and then I kind of jumped into it. So I went to the Alain Ducasse School in Paris. Uh, it was six months of classroom training and then it was three months of an internship where I was sent down in uh, saint um for three months. In France, that was interesting because like the training, I was, I was in a Michelin star restaurant you know, and you have really high expectations because it's the way they, how they present themselves in Michelin Star. But, you know, it's like in the kitchen, it was a bit chaotic, a bit crazy. Um, the language was, you know, insanely difficult. Uh, but, you know, it's like, I think that was like any other kitchen, like you learn the quickest because you're on your feet every day. Um, a split second. And then I think that was the best training. We wanted to do refined food, but we wanted to do it in a very relaxed setting. And relaxed in the sense, like, kind of like a bistro. Which then I realized, like, in Paris, like, this is, you know, a big movement, this whole bistronomy thing. So that was the kind of the thing that we started off with at, at the pop-up, was good quality ingredients, refined execution, but at a price point that is in the middle, acceptable to most people. I think food is, you know, is a medium to connect with people. Firstly, mostly about human connection, family connection. The restaurant is the next step, but I wasn't entirely sure yet. Just because like, you know, again, I didn't want to be a one hit wonder. <laughs> the menu that you see now, Roots, like that's how it kind of came about. You know, in the Canton style, it is as, as with Cantonese cooking, right? It's, it's a single ingredient that is that makes a very strong point. Like there's the shrimp toast with the pickled onions, salmon roll and mint. Second dish is the cha siu that we make ourselves. And then the third dish is the quiche, the Cantonese quiche, where we've replaced you know, any form of like bacon or chorizo with Chinese sausage. The ambition, so just to be Friendly neighborhood bistro, uh, hopefully sometimes, you know, boundary pushing in terms of 
food, uh, flavor combinations, uh, and whatnot. But you know, at least something very approachable, people that can come here and just connect and chill.